just have you talk about your first spring. Um, I mean, it was surreal to me in the beginning, you know, just just uh, really thinking that, like, I'm in college now and thinking that I'm in the SEC and then this is actually happening. And then that blew over after, like, a couple, couple weeks. And then, you know, I started to get in the groove of things and started to learn the playbook and going into film when I'm supposed to and doing the extra stuff that the coach isn't asking so I could get, get that possibility to play on the field in my freshman year. Is there one adjustment, any one adjustment that's been – more difficult for you since you got here? Uh, to be honest, no. The only adjustment is just being smart and knowing what you got to do quick because that's all it really is in playing up like this type of level of football. And it's just making quick, quicker decisions, way quicker decisions than you were in high school. I know Quarterbacks always talk about the game slowing down and all that stuff. Yeah. Is, it, has, is, it, is that a, more of a myth than anything, or does it go super fast and then it starts to slow down? I mean, how, did, how does that work for a young guy trying to process all that? Yeah, see, the way I was always taught is that the game doesn't speed up. It, it doesn't um, – I mean, yeah, of course they speed up and, of course, they're bigger and faster, but then again, you also have the same amount of guys just as big and just as fast. And it all comes down – like Coach TJ Hujimazada, my – Coach at Poly, he was always teaching me and really my mentor. Like, not, not only him, but there was other guys in there. But I took this quote from him. It's, it's uh, the game doesn't speed up. It's just how quickly you can process things. And it's the same thing goes for the NFL. It's how quickly you can process things. And the quicker you are, the better you, you, uh, you'll look out there. What's it been like throwing to this receiving court? Um, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, the first week I was out there, uh, really just seven on seven when – it was just the players called it, just a seven-on-seven seven practice. And um, my balls were a little off because I'm not used to how big they are and how fast they are in their, you know, that close quarter speed they got when the ball's in the air. So it's something I had to adjust with. It, it didn't take too hard, uh, too long, but, I mean, that was that was one of the big things that I had to adjust to. Here. What's the transition been like from coming from California to Mississippi? Oh, culture shock, <laughs> for sure, 100%. Um, other than that, I love it here. I mean, people are really nice here. Um, I love the football, playing in the SEC. I don't think it can get any better. There was well, obviously, obviously a lot of for you, Matt. I mean, you obviously were committed somewhere else, and just uh, you know, why, why was this a good choice for you? Um, <clears throat> you know, I just got along with this coaching staff better. Uh, I trusted them. I really got along with Coach Coach Longo, and I felt like we gelled the best out of my options and. Um, the offense we run is something I ran in high school. I was Christian, and you know why not? How, Man, how, how long did they recruit you? Did Ole Miss recruit you when you were? Uh, so Ole Miss started recruiting me when I was committed to Florida in the very beginning, and I wasn't really I wasn't really all that into it because like I didn't really think about it, and then I was talking to um, Coach Luke hit me or no. Oh, Coach Freeze, that hit me up about it, and um, he was talking to me, like just saying how they love to have me over here, and just you know that typical recruiting stuff. And then the whole coaching change happened, and then um, Coach Luke started talking to me. Like I didn't talk to them for like three months, and then I decommitted to Florida, and then Ole Miss came back in the picture, and that's when I really started thinking about Ole Miss, and then like the type of offense you guys run, and um, really getting to know the coaching staff. The coaching staff was the biggest part for me. Non-football question, but can you kind of fill us in on the on the Brett Michaels connection? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, it's a little complicated thing right there. Uh, I date I dated her da his daughter, and I'm still really close to that family, and like it's complicated. And I'm still. Uh, I'm still really close with them, though, and I love them. They took care of me because without them, I would not be here, and that's for a fact. So I do, I do like appreciate that family and uh, Brett. <laughs> so, so that's how that connected. I went to school with his daughter at Oaks when I was a freshman, and I met her, started dating, and I got close with her. <laughs> What's some of the things you learned from Jordan? Um, really, is just him helping me out with the playbook. He's been the like an older brother to me. Like, he's been a really good mentor. He's not like a, he's not a, he doesn't, he's not hard hard on the younger guys about about like little stuff because you know like a typical you you come in you're a little freshman and he's an upperclassman and like that type of thing didn't happen here. Um, 
everybody showed love and uh, like just support and helping you to get for me to understand the offense. And Jordan was mainly the main one to help me on that. As he, he learned got, a year ago, I mean, you know, you're always one play away. I mean, he he had to be forced into that role. If, if that were to happen, I mean, how how prepared are you? How how much do you have to do to to be prepared to step in and be a starter I mean, next season? You know, I honestly feel comfortable. I don't feel any pressure. Um, if I were to put, say I was starting the first game, I'm, looks like I'm starting the first game, I wouldn't take it any differently as if I wasn't. So um, I, I feel like I'd be prepared, and I know my, the guys behind me would have my back and uh, you know help me gain that confidence that they think I, I can get. When he did step in, he kind of brought a sense of calmness that seemed to positively rub off on the rest of the offense. Have you noticed that? Has that helped you at all? Um, I, I mean, yeah, but I couldn't say that because I wasn't here prior to that. But um, I do see the calmness in Jordan. He's very poised, poised like just as a player in general, and uh, just the way he moves and the way he carries himself on and off the field. It's just the type of person he is. What have these spring practices taught you about yourself and kind of what you need to improve on? Uh, I would say the quicker decisions part. It's just me. It's it's really just a matter of you knowing the playbook, like like the back of your hand, and like the playbook. It's it's easy, you know. Um, it's a good it's a good because it works, and but it's something that I ran. It's very identical to one I ran at Oaks, and um, a little a little different because some concepts don't work in high schools in the SEC. But other than that, it's. Is very similar. So, I mean, I didn't have too hard a problem making the reads and all that, but it was just more of knowing it. What did you, 